Hey guys, this is James with Newbie Drone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix driver issues you may be having with your B-Brain V2 flight controller using Betaflight on a Windows PC. Two things we're going to go over is how to correctly install the drivers you need to use Betaflight, and then how to change the driver you may have installed incorrectly for the flight controller. First thing you want to do is open up Betaflight. Once Betaflight's open, in the Welcome tab, you'll see down here in the bottom left corner, you'll have three links, one for this driver, one for that driver, and then one for the Zydeg program. First thing we're gonna do is use this CP210X driver by clicking here. That'll open up a window. Scroll down, and if you're using seven, eight, or 10 version of Windows, uh, go ahead and click this link right here. Save it in your downloads. After that's done downloading, open up your downloads folder and extract this file go into the folder if you're running a 64-bit version of your operating system use the 64-bit version like i am hit yes next accept next finish and that one's all done go ahead and click out of those windows next one we're going to do is the stm usb vcp drivers go ahead and click here Scroll down to get software. Go ahead and accept the license agreement. And then here it's gonna ask for your first name, last name, and email. Uh, after you guys fill that in, go ahead and click this I accept right here, and then download. What it's gonna do is send you an email that will have a link to download the software. It may take a few minutes or it may take a couple hours. It really depends. Uh, I already have the email sent to me, so I'm gonna drag the tab over. So when you do eventually get the email, this is what it'll look like and it'll have a link here. So once you get the email, click on this link and then you'll see it automatically starts downloading. So after it downloads, close that, close this window, go to your downloads and you'll see the files right here. Go ahead and extract that again, open the folder, run the setup file. Hit next. I already have this installed, so I'm just gonna hit repair, install, and then finish, and that one's all done. And the last thing you're gonna do is download the Zydag tool, and that will let you change what drivers you have installed for USB devices. So go ahead and click here, scroll down to where it says Zydag, click that, save it in your downloads, close this window, open up your downloads folder, and double click and run the Zydag program. At this point, you can go ahead and plug in your B-Brain flight controller to the computer. So I'll go ahead and plug mine in right now. Wait till you hear the USB sound for when you plug it into Windows. Once you hear that go off, go ahead and go to Options and go List All Devices. And you're going to want to choose the STM32 Virtual COM port. Uh, now, you might have something different installed already instead of this USB SCR, you may have WinUSB or whatever, but uh, no matter what you have, you're going to want to go ahead on this right side and scroll down so you get to the USB serial CDC driver. And then you're going to click Upgrade Driver. Let that install. Hit Close. Close out of that. Now we're going to unplug the B Brain flight controller. Plug it back in. And you'll see on Betaflight, the COM automatically changed to COM5, which is a flight controller. So now it's recognizing it. Go ahead and hit connect. And now we're into the flight controller. So we just fixed the driver issue. You can also use this fix for lots of other different flight controllers, but this specifically was for the B-Brain flight controller. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.